have here a simulator provided by CM Labs and the, the motion seat and movement programs are provided by Deepox. Ability of this machine enables us to do a compressed time of training and give the operator an actual feel of what it's like to be in the seat. Personally, I have uh, 17 years total experience with four years of training. When you swing your load and you stop for a half a second, the load is gonna push the crane around. So I could start my swing and take my hand off the swing lever and that load's gonna keep me going. So those are really important cues to have in a simulator to make it more realistic to the operator. With a simulator, you can represent all the same things that an operator might experience in the field in terms of the motion of the seat, he feels the crane swinging, he feels the load being taken at, with the hoist, the boom will deflect, the operator would literally feel that in his seat. He would feel the upper works start to tilt forward. Another aspect with the simulators is that cranes are expensive, excavators are expensive. Putting people out there on those high demand machines is not the best way to train them. Get them up to a certain skill level where they come into the machine with a sense of what they're supposed to do. I was able to exercise in the workplace, you know, around people, around civilization, in cities, streets, even construction sites. It was convenient because I was able to have multiple reps, you know, practicing on a real crane, your riggers are having to, you're taking 30, 40 minutes of your time while riggers are connecting and disconnecting as to where on the simulator, it's just all automatic. I'm, I'm getting repetitive reps, repetitive sceneries, and the practice is very effective. And to be able to uh, start from that level of confidence means that the, their time as a trainee and as they are learning, that they are becoming truly a skilled operator in a much shorter period of time. Okay, Brandon, your foot pedal, extend boom. Today was the first time that I actually got into a crane and operated it and it felt very much like the simulator. And uh, really, I just felt like, I felt like it was, I felt experienced enough to operate the crane safely, you know, as if I had done it before. You can put operators through scenarios that you don't ever hope that they actually ever experience. You hope that an operator never has that, I've lost stability with my outriggers. Lives are lost or people are hurt. And while you never want those things to happen, you do want to be able to train for them. This crane can be turned over and you can learn from that, see what happened, how you overloaded it and make that happen. That one thing alone saves thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars. What role does simulation play in the future of crane operators to be able to have that motion? Uh, you know, I love what D-Box has, has done with the motion side of it. I feel that with the simulation technology and the data that we're recording and what we're seeing, that we're gonna be starting operators off with advantages that they've never had before. <laughs>